हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वेरियस ट्वेंटी ईयर रोड प्लान द फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर रोड प्लान इज नोन एज नागपुर रोड प्लान द सेकेंड ट्वेंटी ईयर रोड प्लान इज नोन एज बॉम्बे रोड प्लान एंड द थर्ड ट्वेंटी ईयर रोड प्लान इज नोन एज लखनऊ रोड प्लान Now the duration of Nagpur Road Plan is from 1943 to 1963, but this plan is completed in 1961. So the next 20-year road plan is started from 1961 and it will completed in the year 1981. And the third 20-year road plan is started from 1981 and it had completed in 2001. Now the density of various twenty-year road plans. They recommended that the road length should be increased in the Nagpur road plan so as to give a road density of sixteen kilometer per hundred square kilometer in Nagpur road plan, thirty-two kilometer per hundred square kilometer in Bombay road plan, and eighty-two kilometer per hundred square kilometer in Lucknow road plan. It means that. In an area of hundred kilometer square, we had to construct at least sixteen kilometer of road as per the Nagpur road plan, at least thirty two kilometer of road as per the Bombay road plan, and eighty two kilometer road as per the Lucknow road plan in an area of hundred square kilometer, which is written here. That is sixteen kilometer, thirty two kilometer, and eighty two kilometer per hundred square kilometer. Now, in the first twenty-year road plan, there will not be the concept of express highway, so we had written here nil. But in Bombay road plan, the total length of express highway is sixteen hundred kilometer. It means that the proposed length of express highway is sixteen hundred kilometer in the Bombay road plan, and in Lucknow road plan, the proposed length of express highway is two thousand kilometer. now the pattern of nagpur road plan is star and grid pattern the road pattern of bombay road plan is rectangular and block pattern and the road pattern of lucknow is the mixed pattern so we had not written anything here now the nagpur road plan had been classified into various types of highways that is national highway state highway major district road or major district highway other district road and the village road now national highway are the highways which would traverse several provinces or states and would be of national importance for strategic administrative and other purposes that is the national highway now the next one is state highways state highways which would be the other main roads of a province or state now the next one is district roads which would take traffic from the main roads to the interior of each district or similar unit according to their importance some of these are considered as major district roads and the remaining are known as other district road which is written here now the last one is the village road which would link the villages to the road system and would be designed constructed and maintained under the authority of the provincial or state highway departments so we had classified the nagpur road plan as national highway state highway major district road other district road and the village roads now the same classification is done in the bombay road plan also that is national highway state highway major district road other district road and the village road which is shown here but in lucknow road plan we had classified the lucknow road plan as primary road which will be the sum of express highway plus national highway next one is the secondary road or secondary highway which will be the sum of state highway plus major district road and the last one is rural road or tertiary road which will be the sum of other district road and the village roads now we had taken the close contract type of tendering process in the nagpur road plan and open contract type tendering process in the bombay and lucknow road plan that is the various 20 year road plans 
थैंक यू वेरी मच स्टूडेंट्स